Hey Han, I'm Chloe and this is the Teddy or Teddy Bear tutorial. My mission is to share my passion for pole dancing and make pole dancing easy to learn and accessible. This is the 43rd video of the beginner pole trick tutorial series. In order to maximize your training out of all the videos, I highly recommend you to start from the very first video of this playlist as the tricks will be a progression of the video before. The teddy or the teddy bear, really as the name states, looks like a teddy. I'll also have a variation for those that want to try the variation version of it, which is honestly my preference. This video is mirrored for your ease of learning. I'll also have a red wristband on my right wrist and my right ankle to indicate the right side of my body if you do get confused of the direction. This trick tutorial is created for you for information and educational purposes only and for you to enjoy learning pole dancing from the comfort of your own home. Please participate at your own risk and don't work beyond your capability and seek help or spotting when necessary. For any health concerns, please make sure you seek professional medical advice. Please also you make sure you warm up your body before you start this video. I'll also have a warm-up playlist depending on your level under the playlist warm-up so that you can try it before you do the trick. If you enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know to create more of these kinds of videos and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet so that you are notified every single time I upload a video. If you are looking to further your pole journey and combining tricks and dance together, then consider learning on my online learning platform, Pole Art Vault where we put tricks and dance together into a combo and learning an entire routine with combos and dance together. You can find the link in the description below for further information. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into the teddy or teddy bear tutorial. Alrighty, let's get into our conditioning. For our conditioning today, we are going to do our knee tucks. So, standing on the left side of the pole, make sure that your right bum cheek is on the pole. You're gonna get your right armpit or your inside armpit around. And then grabbing the pole at neck height. Making sure that you keep your wrist neutral, so if you have a watch on your wrist, it should be facing forward. Outside hand goes right over it so that it is right next to your cheek. Again, make sure that your wrists are neutral. From here, you're gonna get your elbow all the way around so that you can get right into the armpit, squeezing into your armpit. You're gonna drop your elbow down to the floor and dropping your shoulder down. From here, keeping your butt on the pole or your inside butt on the pole, you're gonna lift your knee all the way up towards your chest and then coming down. Now, when you're doing so, try not to drop height too much. So say, rather than going from here and then dropping your bum down, Try to keep that, maintaining that same level as much as you can at your best ability. These are hard, so if you don't get it straight away, that is totally fine. Conditioning is supposed to be hard. So, let's try five on each side. So, starting on your toes, getting your inside bum on the pole, armpit comes around, grabbing the pole at neck height, outside hand at cheek height, wrist neutral, dropping your shoulder down, pull your elbows down to the floor, Think about pulling the pole down and then tucking your knees. Beautiful. We got three more. And two. And last one. Well done. Let's try it on the other side. On your toes, getting your left bum on the pole, inside arm comes around. Grabbing it at neck height, outside hand goes over cheek height. Pull your elbow down. Pull your shoulder down. Make sure, try not to hunch, keeping your back neutral, and then tucking your knee towards the chest. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Well done. There is your conditioning done. Alrighty, let's get into our teddy or teddy bear and plus a teddy bear variation of the trick. Now, I have this pole on static today. However, you can do this both on spin and static. Either or, they both work. However, the direction of the trick looks impressive from one direction. That's the reason why I have my pole on static. So, this is what a teddy or a teddy bear looks like.
Now, this is what a teddy or teddy bear variation looks like. Alrighty, so let's break down the teddy or the teddy bear and then breaking down the variation. So for our teddy or the teddy bear, we are going to start on the left side of the pole, on your toes. From here, you're gonna attach your right bum cheek or inside bum cheek onto the pole and then making sure that your waist is also attached to the pole. Now, when you are doing your teddy, before we get into the trick, making sure that you have bum grip and then also your shelf grip and your armpit grip. If you don't have those, these are gonna be quite tricky. So if, you, if you're wearing any sort of material that interferes with the grip, make sure that you pull it down. Now from there, again, inside bum cheek and then inside shelf and your armpit onto the pole. Outside hand comes nice and high. From here, you're going to bring your inside knee up and then grabbing your inner thigh or almost the back of your thigh. The more you grab it further up your thigh, the more grip you get. From here, we're going to extend our inside leg into a half straddle. And then once you feel secure, you're gonna try taking your other leg off. And then if you feel like you can, you're going to come into a straddle. And there is your teddy. To come out, grab the pole back and stepping out. Well done. Let's try it on the other side. Again, make sure that you have grip or any material interfering, just tuck it down. Getting your inside bum cheek onto the pole and your waist and your armpit. Outside hand comes nice and high. From there, you're gonna start lifting your inside leg up. Make sure that you bring your inside knee up so that it's around hip height or a little higher if you can. And then you're gonna start extending your leg. From there, you're gonna try extending your other leg. If you feel secure, you're gonna take it off, grab your other inner thigh. To come out, outside hand back, and stepping out. Well done. So there is your teddy or teddy bear. Now, let's try our other teddy or teddy bear variation, which is by preference. Now, the reason why is because I feel like in the teddy, as I mentioned earlier, quite singular in terms of the angle. So if you wanna try this on a spin, it sort of ends up like you're spinning one way and then it only looks good in one direction. Now, with the teddy bear or teddy variation, it looks good sort of like multiple angles, which is my preference and also kind of works better on a spin pole as well. However, I'm gonna just do this on static today so that you can have a look at what's happening. Again, I prefer this on spin, but you can do either or. So, we're gonna come back into the same position. So you can either, if you're on static or spin, you can look forward or to the side. This just, in my opinion, looks better from the side. So I'm just gonna do it from side on. Now, same exact position. So you're gonna get your inside bum cheek onto the pole, your shelf on the pole, and then your armpit. However, this time around, once you get your outside hand nice and high, you're going to bring your outside knee up. So instead of grabbing your inner thigh, you're going to grab your outside knee over. So grabbing it on top, and then from there, once you feel grippy, then you're gonna lift your inside knee up underneath your outside knee, and then you're gonna stag your legs, and there is your teddy variation. To come out, grab the pole back and coming out. Well done. Let's try it on the other side. Same exact thing, inside bum, shelf, armpit on the pole. Outside hand comes nice and high. From here, you're gonna lift your outside knee up, grabbing the outside part of your knee. From there, you're gonna lift your inside leg up and then taking your outside and off. To come out, grab the pole back and stepping out. 
Well done. So there you have it. There is your teddy or teddy bear variation. Again, this is my preference. I think it looks a bit more elegant, uh, pretty shape. So give both of them a go and see which one you like. Alrighty, let's go through some tips and common mistakes. Common mistake number one is your grip. So in terms of your grip, as I mentioned earlier, you will need your bum cheek right here, bum cheek grip, your shelf grip, so your waist all the way here, and also your armpit grip. So if you have any material interfering in that area, it is gonna be very tricky. So especially if you're wearing sort of like a shirt that goes all the way down, maybe up to your waist, or if you're wearing any sleeved uh, shirt, you're gonna have to tuck it all the way up. Now I do recommend pole wear or even like a bikini or whatever that's gonna help you get the grip in all the adequate spot. And that's gonna help you a lot with getting into the right position with your teddy. Now, speaking of grip, I always mention in every single video, but you also wanna make sure that you have enough grip for your hands and your body as well, especially if you have maybe dry skin or super sweaty skin, or if you're not gripping up on the pole. Now I have dry skin on my body and I have really sweaty hands. So if I if you do have sweaty skin, you wanna make sure that you have something that's drying or chalky on your body or your hands. So I have all the products that I use in the link in the description. I'm not sponsored for any of the products, but this is just for your own benefit. Now I use shaving foam if I have dry skin. So not on my hands, but on my body. So today, because I am feeling quite dry, I gripped up my bum cheek, my shelf, so like my waist and also my armpit, and that helped me along. Now, before I actually started filming, I tested my grip and then I could not for the life of me, grip onto the pole. And then once I had applied shaving foam on my body, it actually really helped me. So you'll be surprised how much it helps you. So make sure you really grip up and that will help you a lot. Now, let's move on into the next tip. The next tip is making sure that you lift your inside leg up high uh, for the teddy. Now, when you're coming into your teddy, if you lift your leg up below, then you're not gonna get the grip that you need for this trick. And also, it's not gonna look as pretty if, you, if your legs are quite low, as such. So, before you get into it, just make sure that you lift your knee up so that it's hip height or even higher if you can. Again, this is gonna depend on your flexibility. And no, you do not have to be super flexy to be able to do this trick. It's just about lifting your knee up and then just extending it. And even if you don't have much flexibility, you can still do this. So just give this one a go, see how you feel. But again, make sure that you lift your knee up nice and high and then extending it. And I'm sure you know the drill. You wanna make sure that you keep your knee and toe nice and straight before you get into it. No cockroach legs, yeah. You don't wanna look like a eh, cockroach. <laughs> so making sure that you really focus on squeezing your knees and pointing your toes. If you really wanna work on sort of like your leg extension, then you can try leg kicks. This is one way to sort of like work on your conditioning with your straight legs. Those will help a lot. So making sure that you do a teeny bit of conditioning before that. So working on bending your knee, straightening it, bend, straighten, both sides. That's gonna help you a lot with straight leg teddies. Now, next tip I wanna go through is making sure that once you come out, you come out of it nicely. Now, this is a really common one. Um, once you come out sometimes, I see people just sort of like jumping out of it. It is quite dangerous and also really painful as well. Um, surprisingly, if you come out of it, you think that you can get rid of the pain, but you're rather uh, grazing your armpit or even your bum cheek or your waist on the pole. It is not a fun time. So please make sure you work on your exit while you come out of it. So you always want to reverse what you've done. So if you start off with straightening your legs, taking your outside and off, and then straddling, 
what you're going to do is pretty much reverse what you did. So you're just going to grab the outside hand back, bringing your outside leg down, and then inside leg down. So really working on your exit will go a long way and it'll also help you work on sort of nice exits in the future as well. Now, let's talk about the teddy or the teddy bear variation. So for this particular one, we want to really focus on our head movement and hand movement. Now for the teddy, it doesn't really matter what you do with your head or your hand because obviously your hands are both occupied and with your head, you can't really do anything about it unless you're like sort of like tucking your chin in and then like gazing down to the floor. I mean, you want to always look forward with your teddy, but with the variation, because you have one hand that is sort of not doing anything and your head, you can either look up or make it look pretty. You want to really focus on making it look nice. Now, rather than just holding this position as such, you want to look over your outside shoulder to the floor or you can look up and that's going to make your movement looks so much nicer. Now, when we're talking about hands, making sure that if you feel like your hands are doing really awkward things, so I always call it no traffic controller hands, very rigid fingers and arms, you wanna make sure that you're gentle with your wrist and also creating a very flowy sort of finger movement. So think almost like a lopsided ear fox or even a corgi. You want to sandwich your middle finger and your ring finger and your thumb together, or not all the way together, but just gently. And think about pointing your uh, index finger up and then pinky slightly down. And that's going to help you create a beautiful hand. Now you can keep moving them if you want to for the extra effect, or you can just bend your elbow slightly. Think about creating a ripple with your finger and that's going to make your hand look very pretty or you can just keep moving it and there you have it that's how you make your movement look nice and again if this is on spin it looks even prettier as well now let's also talk about our leg in that position because you might be confused if you want your ankles together or apart honestly this is really preference either or they both work so just explore with the shape you like. With pole dancing, it is just so subjective and whatever shape looks pretty on you and what you like is gonna be the shape that you like. So that's the reason why it's also called a variation. There's so many different ways of legs, hands, head. So make it your own move if you'd like. So bringing your knee up and then you can get your ankles apart from each other. You can get your ankles together. You can lean back. Do whatever you please. Make sure that just work on something that is gonna work for your own body and just explore and have fun with it. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is making sure that you keep your back nice and flat in your teddy. Now, what I mean by this is if you try to come into your full teddy or the teddy bear, if you hunch your back, it is not going to look very nice. So when you're coming into this position, you always want to make sure that you keep your back flat and your spine very straight. And that way, your teddy is going to look so much nicer and you're not going to be in this hunchy position as if you're sort of like holding on for dear life. Um, it's, again, I mean, it's aesthetic purposes and also it's going to help you grip up actually much better if you keep your spine neutral as well. So make sure that when you're working on your teddy that you look at yourself in the mirror or maybe even record yourself and see from the side view if your back is hunched or flat. And that will help you get into the right position as well. And that's all the tips and common mistakes I wanted to go through. So before I let you go, a little tip for you today. Now since we're on the topic of teddy and the variations of it, I want to talk about pole wear because the more you start going up into the higher or harder tricks, you are going to need more body grip in all sorts of places that you never even thought of you would need. Now, speaking of that, 
If you are wearing regular clothes like shirts or even like a tank top and pole shorts or like just shorts, then that means that you're going to not you're not going to have the grip that you need on spots like your bum cheek or even like your shelf or sometimes in the future you're going to need some grip on your chest as well. So, making sure that you have ample grip and also wearing the clothing necessary for pole is going to be even more crucial. So now is the time, if you haven't yet, to invest into some sort of clothing. Doesn't even have to be from a pole wear brand, but pole wear or even a bikini or something that's going to give you more exposure in parts um, like your bum cheek or your grip, side grip and whatnot. It's going to be even more crucial. Now, I will have a few recommendations for pole wear. So say for example, my recommendation is Tatiana Active. Uh, it's an Australian pole wear brand that is super focused on sustainability and also quality of the clothing is absolutely immaculate. So I am definitely an ambassador for it, but I really, really love the ethos, the company values, and the quality of the clothing is absolutely amazing. So I highly, highly recommend Tatiana Active. There's also a bunch of pole wear brands that I recommend as well. So I'll leave it in the link in the description so that you can have a look at them. Make sure that you purchase them and also training them. That's gonna help you a lot with the grip as well. Thank you so much for joining me in the Teddy or Teddy Bear Variation tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the very next tutorial. Bye. Hey, Han. <clears throat> oh, geez. <laughs>